Hey guys, today I'm going to share one of the ways that I deploy to my web host. I'm going to be upfront. This method might not work for everybody or it might not fit your situation. Let me give you the quick overview and the prerequisites and you decide. The concept is pretty straightforward. From my laptop, I commit my code to GitHub and then I SSH into my web host. From my web host, I pull in my changes from GitHub. So the prerequisites are your web host allows you to SSH in. This is something that you got to check with your web host and get that set up. My web host does allow SSH. You can check the description for a link if you want to check them out. The next requirement is that once you can get into your web host that they do have Git installed. The next thing to check is that you have internet access to GitHub. And of course you need an account at GitHub and that you're already committing your code to GitHub. I have a video on how to do this. So please check my description if you are not already using GitHub. So those are the prerequisites. If you're running a small or low volume website, I think this method works just fine especially if you are still using the browser to copy your files over to your web host or you're using FTP, you might want to try this method out. All right, that was a lot of requirements. Um, if you're still with me, let's check out the demo between the web host and GitHub. In order to connect to GitHub from our web host, we need to create something called an access token from within GitHub. Okay, I'm at GitHub. I'm going to go to my profile, settings, scroll down to developer settings, click on personal access token, we'll use the new fine grained token, generate new token, give the token a name, I'll just name it after my repo name. For security purposes, we have to set an expiration date for the token. The max allowed time is one year, so that's what I'm going to set it to. I'm going to restrict the token to the specific repository that I'm going to access. I'm going to give read only access to the contents of the repository. By default, we can retrieve the metadata for the repository. So this looks okay. Let's generate the token. Make a copy of it. Okay, I'm inside a empty folder. Since this is the first deployment, I am going to use git clone to clone the uh, project over. So at my repo, I'm going to click on code. I'm going to use HTTPS as the transport. I'll copy my link. I'm going to run git clone and then paste my repository link. It's going to ask for my username. For the password, put in the token that we generated. All right, our code is copied on to the web host. Depending on where your public HTML folder is, you might need to copy the contents of this folder into that directory. We'll just leave the files here and pretend that this is the public HTML folder. So now our code is deployed. Now, how do we deal with subsequent deployments? I'm at Visual Studio Code. Let's say I edited some code and I did a commit and push to GitHub. Back at the web host, I can do a git fetch to see the new commit. Notice that every time I try to hit GitHub, it's going to ask me for my username and password, which is going to be pretty annoying. So let's take care of that first. So right now, Git is pointing to this URL at GitHub, which is my repository. What we need to do is to tag on the username and token along with this URL. I just pasted in the same URL as above except I tagged on my username right here along with a colon and then my access token. Let's check it. If I hit GitHub now, it shouldn't ask me for username and password. So it sees that I am one commit behind, so I can pull that. There we go. My last changes have been pulled into this folder. All right, that's it. If this method works for you, please leave me a comment. See you in the next video.